The Vipers Girl, you mess with the wrong person, bad boy me, OMG Rosa, you surprised me, I closed the front door and slumped into the cushion. She walked towards the stairs sluggishly me, come on baby, let's celebrate, where well, I jumped up and tried to carry her up but she pushed me Rosa, please. I wanna go to my room me, Rosa what's wrong? She climbed the stairs and walked weakly. I sighed and went into the kitchen. I took a glass of orange juice and gulped it down. Rosa must be feeling really bad now. She killed someone today. She's going through the same trauma I went through when I killed someone for the first time in my life. My mom, me, shit. I banged my fist on the table and closed my eyes. Images of that fateful day replayed in my mind. I opened my eyes and went to my room. I showered and dressed casually then went to Rosie's room. Her door was open but she wasn't inside. I checked the bathroom and I saw her throwing up and crying into the toilet. Me, Rosa, I ran to her and patted her back. I helped her up and washed her face. I then took her jacket off and removed her heels. Me, I'll take this to the room, dry and shower. and covered her then handed her a cup of coffee me when i was little i thought ghosts were real i used to be so scared of them and my mom's ghost began to haunt me her eyes widened rosa your mom i nodded and sipped my coffee rosa why would your mom's ghost haunt you me drink your coffee and i'll tell you a story she pouted her lips and i laughed me just to sip a coffee it wasn't prepared by a monster it was prepared by me, she smiled and took a sip me, good girl. You're feeling bad because you killed someone, right? She nodded me, I felt bad too, baby, when I first killed a human being. Promise me you'll keep my secret, Rosa, I promise. I promise I'll keep it me. Then I'll tell you the story, flashback, today is my ten years old birthday. I'm so happy, but I wish my parents to here to celebrate with me. Sign it. We'll kill you. 
be expected to have your life and people them for you to be killed and I'll still get all the riches, Dad. I'm not signing it. She stood up and walked to a table. She picked her phone and dialed her number. Mom, come, let's finish this idiot. She dropped the phone and tried to lift my dad's face up. He was adamant and she slapped him. I gasped and my eyes turned teary. Mom, I've already called him. Sign this paper now. If he comes, he'll kill you and use your own phone to sign this. I'm pitying you because of Barbo. Sign this and I'll let you go before he comes. You can run away with Girls and all sorts of bad things you could 
Drag underscore indicator. He sat down and I began to listen to what he has to say. Please subscribe to see more this video. Thank you.